Hey guys, this is Mike Cow, and I want to say the biggest shout out to Mobo. Happy 18th birthday, and you guys are incredible. Um, so gigging is really at the forefront of everything right now. Um, behind the scenes, we're in the studio working hard, putting the material together, and just taking our time. I want my project to be so right, so I'm very big on not rushing, and um, and we'll know when it's right. So we're just yeah keeping keeping everything like the name going. We're just making sure that everything is perfect. Wow. Hey, this is the thing. 18-year-old Mike is so different to what this Mike is. I would have said... Mm, what would I have said to 18? There's so many things. I'm trying to think what I'm not going to make myself look crazy. Okay, I used to smoke. Okay, and I gave up at the end of... Just at the beginning of being 19. It's not... It's, I'm lucky enough to not have done any like serious harm to my vocal, but I, I, I like to think what I would have been like if I had never smoked. So probably it would have been to, to take my talent more seriously. That was when I was just coming out of the school stages, going into like an adult and you know, when no one can tell you nothing. So I thought I knew best. So I probably would have told myself to take my talent a bit more seriously. Um, but no, 18, apart from that, 18 year old Mike was fun. So I, I can't say I'd change much. <laughs> If you're looking to come up, I would say appreciate your down days, appreciate the crying days and remember them because it makes the good that much better and remember that it takes time. The biggest and best artist was grinding for years, so if you're into your second year and you're nowhere near close, it doesn't mean your time is not coming. It's all about just staying true, continuing to do you and, and having the strength to be able to pick yourself up on them days when you are crying because as I said, the good days then come in and you think, boy, there was a reason for that bad day. I feel like um, MOBA is so significant because I think a lot of people automatically hear the word urban and put a lot of bad press and bad things against urban and for me MOBA brings to light that urban is not all bad. There are a lot of great artists and even if they are a typical rap artist that wears a hood and that, don't stereotype, people are not like that and, and MOBO give everyone the opportunity to see that. It's about celebrating something good from so many different aspects of urban and soul and R&B and I, I think it's really important in this day and age that especially the youth of today, they get to see that because I don't think it's fair them being brought up to think listening to urban music is bad because it's, there's some incredible urban music out there and for me that's what MOBO does.